Hello everybody, this is Trent Smith doing the planning briefing for Thursday, December 7th for the National Weather Service in Missoula, Montana. Quickly looking over the weather threat matrix, we are looking at a fairly active period uh, through the weekend uh, time frame. We're getting a disturbance coming through uh, Thursday night into Friday, and then another disturbance coming in Saturday night through Sunday, and then some lingering snow on Monday, and then a, a significant pattern change coming in Tuesday through uh, next week. So the first disturbance that's going to be coming in through tonight, so Thursday night through the Friday time frame, will be bringing widespread uh, snow. Uh, snow levels appear to get down to about 2,000 feet uh, with this system. So this is kind of just a 24-hour snow amount uh, across the area, starting uh, 5 p.m. Uh, Thursday, going until 5 p.m. Friday time frame. So a decent amount in the higher terrains across north central Idaho along the Montana Idaho border, and then again over in the uh, Mission Range, Swan Range, and over and around Glacier National Park. A few areas uh, to kind of highlight there is that uh, we could see some decent snow on the Highway 12 uh, corridor, uh, especially between Lowell up to uh, Lolo Pass, and then the I-90 as you approach uh, Lost Trail. Um, one area that, that we're kind of highlighting on or that's kind of sticking out to us is maybe around the Ferndale, Big Fork area. I uh, could see a, a, a decent amount of snow on that Highway 83 and especially that uh, Condon area just north of Sealy Lake could get a decent amount and then Marias Pass itself. So that's the first little system. We are looking at a quick little ridge of high pressure sliding over the area Saturday time frame kind of giving us uh, some quiet weather. And then we have another disturbance that's gonna be coming in late uh, Saturday night uh, through the day Sunday. Snow levels do appear to get a little bit lower uh, with the system, so a little bit more accumulations in the valley. But again, it's really that higher terrain right along the Montana Idaho border that's probably gonna get uh, the bulk of the snow. But every place should see a little bit uh, with the exceptions of maybe Southwest Montana and Lemhi County and maybe even the lowest valleys of Idaho might struggle to uh, get some snow. But again, we're kind of watching this. So another decent little system uh, that's coming through. Uh, there is the potential that we could see a little bit more snow than this, but uh, again, there's still a lot of uncertainty on the path of the, uh, those weak disturbance as it moves through the Northern Rockies. So the next few things are just kind of sign of uh, snow graphs broken down into uh, six hour periods. Uh, for the next uh, seven days. Uh, so kind of highlighting some of the passes and when we think the most intense snow, like for late uh, tonight through Friday, it's really kind of at midnight or right after midnight appears to be. And then the same thing Saturday night uh, through the day Sunday, and then some snow lingering in on the Monday time frame. This is Lookout Pass. Here's Lolo Pass, uh, very similar, looking at uh, after midnight, both tonight and then once again, uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning appears to be the best time. Uh, Lost Trail, uh, and then Marias Pass. Um, Marias Pass doesn't appear to get as much snow uh, with that Sunday system, but again, it all depends on that track of that uh, little disturbance. So looking at uh, the outlook, the six to 10 day outlook, it is really indicating that strong ridge of high pressure, uh, especially in the precipitation outlook on the right hand side, showing uh, a high probability of below normal precipitation. But if you look at temperatures, it's not as clear cut and that's because under these strong inversions, we usually get uh, the valley inversions, which keep us kind of foggy, low stratus. So our temperatures, we just don't have a lot of temperature variations. And the extent of those low clouds and fog, uh, it, the, the confidence in that developing is, has been increasing, but again, kind of keeping an eye out on that six to 10 day for this big ridge of high pressure. So again, just kind of highlighting that we have some snow that's gonna impact the area tonight through Friday. A little bit of a respite on Saturday, followed by another disturbance Sunday into Monday, and then that strong ridge uh, building in next week. So if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at the telephone number on the screen. Uh, if not, our next uh, scheduled briefing will be this Sunday, December 10th. Thank you.